Hello and welcome to Infinity. The question we're going to look at today is how can you make something look like it's made out of solid gold metal? And here are some examples. And you can see with it that there's yellows and there's oranges. And in the, the darks, it goes almost to brown. But we're going to come back to this when we need it, which will be a little bit later. So we'll go to, first of all, File, New, Create Anything, because we're going to go to Stock, search on the word Dancer there. I want to use this one because this one is useful in document and clip canvas to fill that out and do a crop just to so we can see it a little bit bigger. There we go. And this one's good because it's got a good tonal range across it and because it's black and, and outside making it very easy to cut out because typically you're going to cut out what you want to make gold. And it might be a face or skin or maybe whatever. But let's do the whole character here. You might use a selection brush for this, but actually in this one, the flood select is going to be easier. So if I click on that and I want the tolerance here to be low because it's all black. I'm just clicking to selecting the black. It's a lot easier to select the color on the outside here. Another contiguous so it doesn't start selecting the blacks inside here. Then select an invert pixel selection. So now I've selected this. I could play around a little bit more, but I'm just going to do the refine. And for this, I'm going to right square bracket to open this up a bit so I've got some blacks in here. So I need to paint around the edge of this to make it rethink. And There we go, look at that, it's not amazing. Refine always amazes me at how clever it is. Some very clever programmer did that. There we go, that's good enough. Should it? Let's click on that again. There we go, that'll do. Okay, and I'm going to output to a new layer. And then we get go to layers, we now got the layer here, got the bottom layer has been deselected. Control zero to go back out again. Now then to turn this into metal, I'm going to use the core trick first of all, and then kind of work outwards from that. So first of all, what we do is go to adjustments and we put in an invert layer. By the way, to make things go above here, I've got to go to the assistant, add adjustment as new layer, add filter as new layer there. Then, with that, I'm going to go to the blend mode here. It says normal, go down to difference. And this effectively looks at the inverted and the original and subtracts one from the other, which seems a rather odd thing to do. But look at what happens now. If I could hit Control J to duplicate that inverted layer, look at it's increasing the number of bands in it. And if I hit invert again, Control J, it's got even more bands. You can keep going, but generally speaking, two is enough. Because this is going to make it stand out more, surprisingly make it look metal. To get that metal, we want to make it monochrome. So we're going to go to this one again and put in a black and white layer. So I go to adjustments and black and white. And oh, hey, look at that. Doesn't that look really metallic? And you can play with the colors here and change the effect. We'll just come back to it later to play with it if you want. But we're just going to leave it for now. Now then, the next question is, I want to put here, I want to change this from the silver effect to gold. And this is where I want those hues. Because so I'm going to put a gradient map above here. So I want to have a dark, a medium and a light colour. So I'm going to go back to the original picture here. Go to View, Studio and Info. And what I'm going to do with this is, if you go look at the RGB here, when you go all over it, it's all over the place. So how do you know what to do? The trick is here, and another one if you like, 
Click on the colour model at the top there and make sure it's HSL. Now, if I look at the darker areas around here, see it's um, 10, 20, darker areas here, 30, and so on, darker areas here, maybe around 30. So we'll take 30 as a hue for the dark. For the medium, medium tones, that's around about 40 there. There, see, it's, it's maybe, you know, look around 40-ish for medium tones. And for light tones, so that one goes up to 50 and 60 light tones, around 50. So we'll, get, we'll do a 30, 40, 50 for those three. It just makes it a bit easier. So from here, then we're going to put on a, uh, where is it, gradient map. And it's gone funny colours here because this is set to red, green and blue. But we click on the red, which is at the black end. We want to make that a dark brown, so we want to get round here to the hue to the 30. So that's 30. And then click within here, take it up to a nice dark brown. So up there, so lightness is round about 10-12% like that, that's fine. And saturation is 100. Now then, let's take the middle one. So this one on the outside, I'm going to make that about 40. Then on the inside, we'll just click into that one there, so it's that orange. And then click on the outside one there. This one will make light. So this was a hue of 50. So around here, 50. And then go down here, this light side, and push that up towards the whites there. So again, saturation 100, and L there is about, lightness is about, or luminosity is around about 90. And look what we've got here now is gold. So that's colour that gold. So, but now let's say there's a few more things that we can do with this. Remember those white highlights? Well, we can do that here by going to layer, new fill layer, and put that layer above here. So I got white, but I want to put those whites only into the highlight areas. So I'm going to use the blend ranges up here. Click on that, use the right hand graph. So I'm doing this fill blending. And I'm going to bring this one down and this one across. So it's only applied in the lighter areas. To, so right up here. And then the linear uncheck to make a nice curve. So it's smooth transition. Pull that one up a bit there, and this one down a bit here. And now we've got more of the highlights coming in. So if I turn that off and on, see just in those subtle areas, it's adding that extra light. I can do a few more things with this as well. So, for example, if I look further into this, this is, there's a lot of undulation on this, so texture. So I can smooth that out if I want to make, make it look a bit more metallic. So at the bottom, before I do anything else, I'm going to make it smoother. And the way to do that is to go to Bilateral Blur. And Bilateral Blur will smooth things out, but won't affect the edges. It won't blur the edges. So the edges here, the seams and so on, are still nice, nice and crisp. And here I can play around with this. There's a point at which the texture reappears, so I can turn that up until that disappears. And maybe the tolerance as well, just tweak those two until we've got a nice smooth picture here. And one last tweak we can do with this again. If I go to the, the, the that pixel layer again, and this is just a kind of tweaky thing, the adjustments on this and no, filters, that's what we want. We want to go to clarity. There it is. And now if you turn down clarity, sometimes you get a smoothing effect, but that actually takes out the interest. What you can do is you can turn up clarity and find a bit there, not too high. See, it's adding more light in this. Let's go out again. Yeah, so without the clarity, it's like this. 
with the clarity adds a bit more. So it's guiding out a little bit more of light through it. So there it is. That's our finished model. We can put on the original layer underneath there and it's not showing through because of the layers above here. So if I click on the layer here at the top, click on the bottom one there, hit Control G to put that into a group and there you go. The black around the outside is now showing. And let's click on the hand and there's a final one. And it was that was before and that's afterwards turned to solid gold. A bit longer than usual but there's a lot of tricks in there that I hope you find useful. Thank you very much for watching.